Although night sweat and hot flushes are among the best known side effects of menopause, there's many other causes of night sweats. And this video highlights the top things that can either cause night sweats or make your night sweats a lot worse. And did you know that night sweats affect men too? Well, they do. Our cold sweats can be a symptom of panic attacks, but not necessarily. My other blogs and videos will tell you how you can quickly and easily make night sweats a thing of the past by using NLP and hypnotherapy and also how you can develop a sleep-friendly and menopause-friendly lifestyle. Now, obviously, the first place to start is menopause. Night sweats can start in perimenopause, which I suppose is obvious, really. But that can be as early as in our 30s and continue right through to post-menopause. Even into our 60s, 70s and 80s, it's not unusual for women post-menopause to still be experiencing sleep disruption or suffer from a range of sleep disorders. They reckon about 60% of women post-menopause are having sort of sleep issues. But night sweats can start even earlier. New mums, our bodies have got to get rid of a lot of excess fluid in those first days and weeks. So it's not uncommon for us to sweat a lot you know, during the day and night. But that generally just goes fairly quickly within the first few weeks. And then there's the male menopause, andropause, and that can result in night sweats and disturbed sleep. And I've seen quite a lot of guys recently who've had night sweats, but it's often combined with anxiety, which has made it a lot worse. Which brings me on to stress and anxiety. You know, our sweat glands become much more active when we're stressed and anxious. And long-term stress here does lead to poor sleep. So a combination of the two is not so good. And to get rid of that, you do need to deal with the underlying cause of the stress and anxiety. But actually that's not difficult. You know, my sleep programs cover all of that. Obstructive sleep apnea is where you stop breathing for short periods at night. And that's a very dangerous sleep disorder because it means you can fall asleep at any time during the day. For example, when you're driving. And they reckon around a third of men with obstructive sleep apnea have night sweats. Now, obstructive sleep apnea is more common in men than women. But I wonder if that's partly due to the idea that women don't snore. Well, actually, we do. <laughs> we can snore quite well. So if you think you might be a snorer and you're getting night sweats, then do check out whether you may have obstructive sleep apnea. It's not that hard to deal with. Night terrors and some other sleep disorders can also cause night sweats. Low blood sugar is something else that can wake you up at night and cause you to sweat. And then there's hypohydrosis, and that's why the body just sweats a lot naturally for no particular medical reason. But again, you can use my programs to do something about that. People with COVID and other health conditions can also experience night sweats. Other health conditions can include things like thyroid, stroke, HIV, some cancers, and a range of other illnesses. But if you've got something else wrong with you, do check out if that might be the cause of your night sweats. Night sweats can also be due to the medication you're on or that you're coming off, whether it's a prescription medication or not. There's some very common medications such as sort of aspirin and ibuprofen that can possibly cause night sweats. With antidepressants, it's fairly common for people to experience night sweats and also drugs like cortisone and other drugs to treat cancers and diabetes. And then we come to the nation's favorite drug, which is alcohol. And alcohol can, can cause night sweats, but it will certainly make your night sweats more severe. So if you're getting night sweats, then really stay away from alcohol. And alcohol can also cause you to have less refreshing sleep. Finally, your bedding. 
It may sound obvious, but our bodies react to different fibres. If you're getting night sweats, try and use natural fibres in your bedding. A wool is amazing. It naturally regulates our body temperature and it absorbs huge amounts of moisture before it gets wet and makes us wet. So look at how you can use wool in your bedding all year round, not just in winter. I hope that run through of the causes of night sweats was useful. And remember to check out my other videos on how you can quickly and easily get rid of night sweats and hot flushes and improve your sleep just by using the power of your mind. And when you're fed up with counting sheep, talk to me, I'll help you sleep.